Hi boys and girls, it's me, Miss Trotta, your mystery reader. So since Valentine's Day is coming up, I dressed the part and decided to read a book called The Day It Rained Hearts. This book is by Felicia Bond. One day, it started raining hearts. And Cornelia Augusta caught one. She caught another. It must be getting close to Valentine's Day, she thought. And she set to work making Valentine's. The heart she caught would make perfect cards. Cornelia Augusta saw that all of her cards were different. She looked at each one from the front and the back and the side and decided which ones would be just right for each of her friends. She found seven that were more or less alike and strung them together with a needle and thread. I know just the right person for this one, she thought. Then Cornelia Augusta took an especially handsome heart and pasted it on a piece of paper. In the corner of the heart, she glued a cotton ball, one that was very white and soft, and she knew instantly who that card would be perfect for. Cornelia Augusta had eight hearts left. On the largest one, she drew circles and then very carefully cut them out. I wonder who she's making them all for. She knows exactly who. The other hearts were so small, she arranged them on a piece of paper. Around the hearts, she painted patterns of many colors. Then she folded her design in half. There was no doubt in her mind who would receive these. Cornelia Augusta put a stamp on each of her Valentines. and mail them. It never rained hearts again. Not where Cornelia Augusta lived anyway. There's one friend getting a valentine and another friend getting a valentine. But it didn't matter. Because next year, And the next, and the year after that, Cornelia Augusta found other ways to make a Valentine. What do you think she's gonna do next year? I see hearts on all the trees. Looks like the leaves grew as hearts next year. So Cornelia Augusta picked every heart special for her friends and design one for each one. I hope this book inspires you to make a Valentine for all of your friends. Thanks for listening.